Welcome to the Philip DeFranco show and let's just jump into it. <laughs> what up? It's your girl, Superwoman. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Yes. How many intros can I steal? I spent weeks telling myself that I didn't need anything from Natasha Denner in a holiday collection and then I went past um, the Sephora in Bondi Junction and turns out they're now stocking Natasha Denner in Australian Sephora stores. I saw this, I touched it, all my resolve went out the window. Um, so I think I'm going to take this one here. I'm just going to lightly shade because I don't know what I'm getting myself into yet. Holy moly. <laughs> All right, question one. Can you give me tips to handle anxiety about graduating uni? I'm graduating soon and I feel like I have no purpose in life. Thank you, love you, Erica. Love you too, Erica. I think just take solace in the fact that the way that you are feeling is totally normal. I felt that way. I definitely know that Adrian felt that way. Heaps of my friends felt that way too when finishing uni. Um, just stay positive. I think put yourself out there and have faith that you will, you will end up where you need to be. On that topic of uh, uni, I got a lot of questions kind of to the effect of uh, now you've finished your degrees, what's the plan? <laughs> what are you going to do with your life? And I love YouTube. I'm going to continue YouTube. I'm working outside of YouTube uh, and I'm going to do both. I'm looking at this palette like how am I going to fit all of these colors onto my eyes? And I'm going to take a really good crack at it. So maybe this one here on the outer corners place that you would like to visit that you've never been to and your favorite place that you'd like to go back. Uh, I would like to go to see the Northern Lights. That's like a bucket list item for me. And the place that I'd like to go back, probably Japan. I love Japan. Mm, this one. I got a lot of questions about like movies and TV shows. <sighs> I like movies. I like movies, don't get me wrong. There, there's this thing with me where I will get halfway through a movie and then I'll kind of ask myself, why do I know what's going to happen next? And it's because I've watched the movie before, probably twice. And then Adrian's always like to me, well, why are we watching a movie that you've already seen before? <laughs> I don't know. I can't be the only person who has this issue. This shade here, I'm not sure what's going on. It doesn't feel like it has much of a base color. It's more of a kind of a top coat. I'm just going to pop, pop that on right on top and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. What's your most precious material possession? The ring that I wear on my left hand, this was given to me by my grandmother for my 21st birthday. It is not an engagement ring. Not an engagement ring. Um, and then probably after that, probably my disc station. It has all the content that I've ever produced. And I just look at it like a box of my blood, sweat and tears. Because I watched like a trillion reviews on this palette, um, a lot of people that were reviewing it said they didn't get any fallout. I've got little micro glitter all over my face, so unfortunately I am getting a little bit of fallout. Let's try to go with something a bit like this. Where can I put you? Do you have any critiques of the beauty industry or community and what would you like to see changed? Um, uh oh, was this the right choice? I don't like drama. Uh, I see drama. And then I turn around and I run in the opposite direction. I just, I find it exhausting. Um, I don't, I just don't have that men, mind space for drama. Um, and I would like to see less of it in the beauty community. But I do understand that it, drama it appears to sell. Like in the same way that sex sells, drama on YouTube sells. So what are you going to do? Holy moly, that's so blue. <laughs> I'm going to figure out these eyes in a little bit, but first I'm going to add some foundation. Lasting Silk by Giorgio Armani. I think that they are discontinuing this. Uh, so if you love it, then I suggest that you go and buy some backups like I did. Are you originally from Sydney and what do you like most about living in Sydney? Born and raised, baby. Um, what do I like about Sydney? I like that it's, it's a big enough city that there are a myriad of like food and activities and opportunities but it's not so big that it feels overwhelming also we have good good weather in sydney um it's very moderate which sounds like a silly reason to like a city but <laughs> i was in new york for the polar vortex a few years back and i was like no i am way too australian for this too australian what are your goals life youtube etc Am I the only person that finds these kind of questions so alarming? <laughs> what, are my, what are my life goals? I want to create a life that makes me happy. Um, I want to be fitter. 
and I'm working on that. And I would also, I want to do more volunteer work. Um, now that I finish uni, I, I really want to get back into that in a big way. Bit of the old heart shape tape. Uh, what, did you, what did you study at uni? I spoke about this in my college slash uni makeup video. I did Bachelor of Business and I majored in Finance and then I also did a Bachelor of IT and I majored in the business, the business side of things, so like the non-technical side because I can't code to save my life. And then I also got another question, do you like books? I love reading. I love reading so much. There was a few years there where I feel like I kind of fell out of love with books because when I was at uni I was so like I was up to my knees in textbooks and it kind of killed my love for books. Um, but then Adrian bought me a Kindle. Before you say anything, I was that person who was like, I will never have an electronic diary. I will never read electronic books. I want paper, like I want to feel a book. The Kindle is so good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And in terms of my favorite book, I feel like I can't answer that. It's kind of like asking, what's your favorite color? Like what's the context? How old am I? What mood am I in? What's the weather outside? Like, there's just, <laughs> there's too many variables. I, I could give you like a top 20. <laughs> no, probably not actually. <laughs> I like this question. What is your favorite restaurant in Sydney? Again, this totally changes like on my mood and like who am I going with? Uh, but I will say, if you like sushi, soak at the star, so good. Uh, and also if you like cheese, stinking bishops, is it Enmore or Newtown? You've got to go there. It is like cheese heaven. What have we here? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to use a new powder today. Um, if there were like a competition for most beautiful cosmetic packaging, Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder, the you blew it out of the park. Like, it's so beautiful and it's proper weighty. It doesn't just look weighty, it feels weighty. Um, and this is the pressed powder, which I've not yet tried. Mmm, beautiful very fine it doesn't completely mattify the skin it just kind of mutes the shine a little bit <gasps> so pretty what are your top picks for inspiration whether it be book movie ig account where do you go when you need a positive boost every time i have tea with my grandmother and my mum and my auntie so like three generations of us i just find it so inspiring they're they're strong and intelligent all in their own unique ways and i always feel like like really motivated and positive about the future so yeah where did you learn your video editing skills and did you have help with it at all girl blood sweat and tears <laughs> i remember this is no joke um when i first uh downloaded final cut pro which is the editing software that i use now uh, I didn't even know what a DSLR was. I didn't know how to import my footage onto the computer and I was trying to video edit. Uh, I, I jumped in like head first and I cried. <laughs> I was just so frustrated and overwhelmed that I just burst into tears. <laughs> Adrian must have thought I was completely mad, uh, but I got it, I got it in the end. We get there in the end. <laughs> it was just a lot of trial and error. And also whenever I'd get an error, I would just Google it. <laughs> That's, that's how I live my life. I come across errors and I Google it. <laughs> I do feel like you kind of have to be heavy handed with this. Like it's not, it's, it feels like more of a finishing powder. Skin perfecting powder. Hmm. Maybe it's not a setting setting powder because my face still feels a little bit tacky. All right, before I go any further, I'm just going to do these brows. Um, lately, I've been doing a pretty understated brow. This is the Holika Holika Wonder Drawing Skinny Eyebrow. And I just fill in any ball spots and then I elongate a tiny bit. And then I use soap. Kind of brush that through my brows to give them a little bit of texture, make them a little bit more brushed up because that's how I like my brows. All right, so with this eye look, I feel like I need to ground it because currently it's quite vibrant and quite shimmery and I, I think it just needs something to pull it back a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the Natasha Denona Star Palette. This is actually my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. Um, of all the ones she's produced, and I think I've tried most of them. Uh, I know that it wasn't everyone's favorite, but the color combination really floats my boat. Um, this is beautiful. I'm gonna give this a quick review right now. This is beautiful, but it's not a complete palette to me. I kind of, I, I want to add some more colors, so let's do that. This one here. 
Uh, someone asked about the Suki brow pen. What do I think of the new um, colors and formulations? I haven't tried them. Sorry, girl. Um, when I do, I will report back. And then I've got a question from Mira. Hey, Mira. Long time no talk. Uh, she asks, uh, do I really need Wayne Goss brushes? Yes. Yes, you do. I think if you, if you like your Hakuhodos and your Chikahodos, you'll like your Wayne Goss brushes. And also, if you've never tried Japanese uh, brushes and you just want to dip your toes in, I think that Wayne Goss is a really good way to do that. Um, they sound expensive. The Wayne Goss brushes, you know, in comparison to perhaps some other brands on the market, but for Japanese brushes, they're actually very uh, reasonably priced. What's on your Christmas wish list this year? Good question. Wouldn't mind some um, some more bed sheets. <laughs> Am I an adult yet? Wouldn't mind some more bed sheets. Um, and if any of my uh, family or friends are watching, we have a super king. I'm terror. I can't wink. Can't wink to save my life. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, don't, don't buy me anything. All I want is your cuddles. I popped on a pair of lashes. These are the Tarte lashes, amazing. Tarte makes like some of the best lashes and they're in the style girl boss. Um, so yeah, that's the eye look we've got going so far. It's fun, it's not my favorite look that I've ever done, but I don't hate it. Don't you ping up, stay down. I'm gonna use this highlight. Um, this is the Becca Gradient Glow. It's beautiful. I have a feeling that it might um, be better suited to people who are a little bit more tan, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Now I'll try to take some of these lighter shades. Woo! <laughs> Sparkle everywhere. Every day is Christmas. How did you find it doing a degree alongside a career on YouTube? Was it, rewar was it stressful, rewarding, etc.? Can I read? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, stressful, also very rewarding. I, you know, when I think about it, I think YouTube is truly one of the best decisions I ever made. I am an anxious introvert. And before YouTube, I think I probably struggled with it more than I knew. Like uh, I remember telling my auntie before the very first event I went to, I'm going to vomit. Like I'm so anxious and I'm so nervous about going to a place where there's a lot of people that I don't know and I feel like I might vomit. And she was like, calm down, you'll be fine. And I was fine. That's a good description of everything that's happened you know, since then. I'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, and then it's fine. And I do the thing and it's fine. And I feel like it's made me a lot more confident. Yeah, it made me a lot happier, really. That's pretty. Becca made a pretty highlight. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Adrian asks, what's for dinner? Darling, whatever you make. I will eat whatever you make for dinner. Adrian's actually a pretty good cook. When I first met Adrian, he didn't know how to wash dishes. Uh, he wasn't the most domestic, uh, but he's doing really good now and I like to think that I'm to credit for that. Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze, fair to light. What are your favorite brushes for blush? And your favorite or must have face brushes from Haku Chikohodo Wayne Goss. Funny you should ask this because I have a video all about this topic. Uh, it's a brush fest. I'm gonna link that somewhere on the screen in the description box. Go check it out. What was uh, your first ever job? <laughs> when I was, I wanna say I was maybe like six, uh, my mother recruited me uh, in her office to do samples. Uh, and it's like a, it's kind of like a lab kind of thing. You, you put a, a metal through a sieve and then you put it in this machine and it shakes a lot. And then you've got diff different sieves and then you weigh out how much product is in each sieve and it's like to determine the grade of a product. And whenever I would say, mom, I'm bored. She'd be like, go do some samples. There's heaps of samples for you to do. I was never bored after that. <laughs> I found a lot of ways to like entertain myself in the garden. All right, let's do a little bit of uh, MAC Lip Tensity in the shade Doe. What do you do? What do you prefer? What's wrong with me today? Can I read? Do I speak English? What do you prefer to do to stay fit? <laughs> Good question. I recently started Reformer Pilates um, and it's like Pilates, but it's on this machine that essentially adds resistance or weights to any Pilates routine, right? And anyone who says that Pilates isn't real fitness has got to try Reformer because it is so hard. Um, but it's something that I genuinely, like I feel like I'm getting stronger and my body is a better, the, my body as a machine is working better than it has before. Um, and I really look forward to going. So if you ever have an opportunity to, to do Reformer Pilates, much recommend. Moment of truth, 
I'm going to let out my hair and I'm going to determine whether or not it can be worn out or whether it's beyond repair. That's fine. <laughs> That'll do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I haven't really done Q and A's in the past, so I don't know how I did. Hopefully I did okay. Um, if you do enjoy this and you want to see more of it, then you should go in the comment section and say, hey, Kramer, I really enjoyed this video. And that way I know that you enjoy it and maybe we'll do some more. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Whatever it is that you're up to, come say hello to me on Instagram uh, so that uh, you can see what I've been up to. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye. Na 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 na